Hey, Black Hat Studio here with the Eater of Worlds today. So, I've already recorded this fight, and I wanted to go over it in post so I could show off his different abilities. The first ability that we're going to see is Writhing Mass. As you just saw over in the top left hand corner, tentacles come up from the ground, and then after a second, they fall and hit everything that is in front of them. As long as you're not over there and on the opposite side of the tentacles as the Eater of Worlds, you're going to be fine. It's one of his easiest attacks to dodge. The next one we're looking at is Hunger. What he does is he charges forward, and then he reaches a location and slams. Kind of similar to the Shaper's Teleport Slam. It's fairly easy for it to catch you off guard. So energizing the spheres is the most dangerous phase of this, and it's usually where I die. What you need to do is you need to stand in each sphere's radius without being in the radius of his laser beam. As long as they're in the radius of his beam, you're going to take damage. But if you can energize enough spheres fast enough, you can stop his beam. That sphere is energized. Now, what I did here was wrong. You need to wheel to wait for a couple seconds in the sphere and... I waited in a sphere that was way too close to him. The better option would be for me to have moved to the one on the far left because his beam was going to reach me before that. And the longer that you spend in the beam, the more that the stacks in the top left-hand corner go up. As you can see, as it goes up, boom, and you die. The better thing to do in this scenario, once you have jumped to the farther area and made sure to leave lots of space for his beam, would be to run down in the arena run back around and try to grab any other orbs that were in the south part of the arena. You want to give a lot of space and make liberal use of your movement skills here, because it moves faster than you think based on the amount of time that you have to sit in the orbs to empower them. Putting that aside though, this fight is fairly simple. As long as you don't get hit by hunger, that, the only other thing you need to worry about is empowering the orb. If you can empower the orbs and avoid the hunger, then generally you will be able to kill him. This only applies for the normal version though, not the uber. Okay, if you like this video, please leave a like or a comment. Love if you'd subscribe. You'll be able to see a lot more good content like this. We just created a Patreon, so if you want to see any of our content before it's published on YouTube, or see exclusive content that's Patreon only, come join us on there and join our community. Have a great day, everyone. Bye!